I don't want to get all mad and upset. Don't get mad, but we had a user write in talking about asking you about Dan Savage was answering a question from a 23-year-old woman who has never had an orgasm, and she was talking about being frustrated. And he cited Elizabeth Lloyd's uh, byproduct theory of female orgasm, that there's really no reason for a woman to have an orgasm. Whoa, 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 whoa. In it's an evolutionary standpoint. No, no. You're, because because you don't have to have a baby. You know, in order to make a baby, you don't have to have an orgasm. That's true. Anyone who wants sex information should not ask a gay man or an academic who's focused on procreation because having an orgasm is not about procreating, it's about pleasure. And if you can imagine growing up and living in this culture where everything is sex, sex, and more sex, and you're not having this end pleasure, you're convinced there's something seriously well, wrong. Look at the title of her question. The title of her question is broken. She's saying, Dan Savage, I'm broken. There you have it. And he says, well, yeah. It's okay. You are kind of broken. Don't because worry. Because there's no evolutionary reason for you to have an orgasm. Because what sex is all about is having a baby. And this is a gay man who's married. Yeah, when is sex ever about having a baby for you? <laughs> I mean, now that is embarrassing. No, it's kind of ironic. Well, you, ironic. I think it was disgusting. So it's this, this thing of, of the pain that a woman goes through and the confusion and the suffering that she feels exactly as that woman said. She feels broken. That's a terrible thing to There's feel. There's no sense of self. And an orgasm, also all of those hormones, oxytocin, it releases endorphins. It's all those things that make you feel good about yourself. Make you happy. So yeah, you're not fulfilling the evolutionary, you know, call to propagate your species. We could all go and get our tubes tied. I can tell you. That but, you're, but you're enjoying yourself and you're feeling good about yourself. And maybe there's an evolutionary value to that. Because then you're going to go out and you're going to gather a little more, more food. Well, perhaps there's an evolutionary value to having pleasure and wanting to be with a partner who will help you raise the baby. I know. Duh. <laughs> I know, it's just... Um, and we have an infinite capacity for pleasure. Women. We could have one multiple of, orgasms. One of the reasons female sexuality has been repressed from day one is that they... They know or they suspect or a handful have found out that women are far more sexual than men. Oh, not only are we far more sexual, but we are the ones that give birth. Now that is a huge, a lot of huge, power. huge amount of power. And at one time I think the women that we were in control and that we did indeed abuse power just like the men are abusing it now. So... You know, that we have to figure out a way to live on the planet where it's not about one sex controlling the other sex. Right now, male sexuality dominates female sexuality. And that's what you were saying. The reason why she feels broken is she's tracking herself as against male sexuality. She thinks she's going to have fast arousal. Friction fucking is going to do it. And then she's going to have a fast orgasm. That's not how women are wired. Nope. But we can get there and stay there longer than men can. That really, that's terrifying. <laughs> that if we get the if we get the kind of stimulation that is working for us, we can have orgasm after orgasm. orgasm. Now I don't in saying this, I don't want all the women out there to go, I only have one or two. It's perfectly okay to have one orgasm and feel mm. satisfied. That's yeah. not a not a problem. And sometimes I just want one and I walk away. Yeah. Sometimes and sometimes I get, a big pig. <laughs> sometimes I get in front of one and I can't make it and I go, I'd rather go to sleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Depending on everything. So so I think that Sharing orgasms with, between two people, particularly a man and a woman, is perhaps the glue that keeps a lot of people together. Absolutely. And to think, it, and to think of it as a throwaway, a, a byproduct, what a... What, what a, a horrible thing to say a to a young woman. What a disgusting, disgusting comment. So, how about Dodson and Ross the next time you want to find out about orgasms, okay?